On to Saturday's Daily Mail, Lewis, and it looks like after all the advertising of a trans issue that uh, GB News has been doing, it's starting to pay off. Well, this is, was a real surprise to me that the NHS, uh, tr uh, Trans Britain, it says, according to the Daily Mail, NHS carries uh, one gender swap surgery, that's a sex, whatever they call it, I've got to be careful because I'm not that knowledgeable on these things, I'm going to say something wrong, one gender swap surgery each day as the as a number of procedures being carried out doubles in a decade, which, so the NHS is doing the gender reassignment surgery, which is, which is an amazingly difficult, painful, horrible surgery. It's changed my view by reading this article, because I hadn't really thought about what exactly is involved when a man who was born, I guess, whatever it is, becomes a woman. It's just really, it's really brutal. And um, which is I'm sure they use anesthetic. Though. They do, but it's like you got to have your you got to have your urinary tract re reattached, and you got to have a shape made for a. It's really gruesome. I love the cute shape. Shall I say what the story is actually about, just yeah, for fun? Quality. So <laughs> the, look, so they're performing these surgeries n nearly you know one a day, as it says, and it, it, it's shocking. Nine, and ninety-seven percent of them are men transitioning to becoming women. So that's the very yeah. questionable stat. Now, why is that? Is it because it's some sort of fetish? Is it because they want to get into safe spaces? Who knows? I mean, is it the highest status women have in our culture? Just that's quite. No, a, a, I'm just. I'm standard. asking. I don't you know, know. If you, why. You know, I want to get in a safe space. I know what I'll do. I will have yeah. bottom surgery where they have to reattach my urethra. Record well, yeah, if you really want to uh, well, get in that you know space. What? I mean, why is it, though, Steve? It is very strange, isn't it? And only well, three answer that answer question? It then, yeah. I'll answer the question. I'm amazed if you can. Because, you know, you answered it yourself. You made it, it phrased it as a question because it sounded so nice. But the truth is, it's better to be a woman than a man. And we know that. I know I know. Lewis Schaefer's life seems amazing. Your life is amazing with your podcasts and stuff. And Steve's been on TV. But men are hated. Future. But But men are hated. Men are, men are hated, and the, the other thing... And I'll tell you who's not hated right now, <laughs> trans people. That's the decision to move into. I don't think trans people are hated by... I think that they're hated in it's certain... Certainly newspapers. They're not hated. The, the political movement built off the back of them is what's hated. Mm. Yes. And I yeah, think... So it, it, it yeah. seems like you wouldn't make that decision. Like, oh, men are getting a lot of flack. Yeah. I know what I'll do. I'll have bottom surgery with my urethral thing but, being really... But then why has the number gone up so massively? I mean, that's because yeah. it's a social trend, right? That's why it's gone up so, uh, on, it on the has, whole. It hasn't gone up that massively. It's only 355, which... Yeah, but it's I, much higher than it was. It was, but that's only 355. That's one a day. That's not a tremendous number. But the, it was 170-something a, a number of years ago. Yes, OK. So, But it's still only 355. Yeah. You're not thinking there's 10,000 a year or 20,000 a year. But at the at the end of the day, like we English say, is that, is that, it's, um, is that it's better to be a man than a woman. Well, you mean the other way around, don't you? It's better to be a woman than a man. I don't think it clears it up, by the way. It's all right. Uh